Hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace, and this is a video response to a video done by Gamester81 and to a response video done by Back Forward Punch. I have to mention him because it was actually his response video that I saw first. Now the topic at hand is the current generation of consoles, the seventh generation, the Microsoft Xbox 360, the Nintendo Wii, and the Sony PlayStation 3. Now, as some of my subscribers already know, I don't have any of those systems, but there's a logical reason for that. I do have three of the four previous generation consoles. I have a Sega Dreamcast, I have a Microsoft Xbox, and I have a Nintendo GameCube. I was planning on buying a PlayStation 2 next, but word began to leak out that the PlayStation 3 was going to be backward compatible with software for the PlayStation 2. So I figured, well, I'll hold off on buying a PlayStation 2 and just buy a PlayStation 3, and that way I'll be able to play software on both for both consoles on one console. Well, the system when it launched was expensive, which I understand because it used Blu-ray technology, which was new, and new technology is always expensive. I've been around long enough to know that pattern, and that eventually the price will go down as they manufacture more and more units. I know how all that works. So I waited for the eventual price drop of the PlayStation 3, and that did eventually come. But Shazam! When Sony released the PlayStation 3's redesign, they took out backward compatibility with the PlayStation 2 software, and I really wanted that component. So I put off buying a PlayStation 3. Meanwhile, my wife and my kids started pestering me for a Wii. The only console, by the way, that makes money with every unit sold. Nintendo designed the Wii so that they make a profit with each one sold, unlike Sony and Microsoft, who lose money with every console sold with the idea of making money back with the sale of software. Problem is, the Xbox 360 has been so unreliable and has cost uh, Microsoft so much money. The uh, last thing I read was a uh, figure was $4 billion has been lost uh, due to this problem. So, the Wii was attractive, and it was the least expensive system on the market. But I didn't get around to buy one, although my kids gravitate toward one every time they see one in a store, they make a beeline for it. And you can't really say that my kids are, are just casual gamers, because they play video games all the time. They are not casual gamers in any uh, way. So they want a Wii, my wife wants a Wii, and I want a Wii. The only problem with the Wii is the controls uh, setup, the motion controls. I have vertigo problems and I have tremors that I suffer with and I'm on medication for. But if I try to do anything like balance on that board or anything, I'm going to fall. And where's the fun in that? Well, it might be fun for you to watch, but it wouldn't be for me to fun to experience. So I've put off buying a, a Wii, although I probably wind up getting one eventually. What I do like about the Wii is that it's fully backward compatible with the GameCube. Now, some might say in a rather derisive way, well, that's because the Wii is just a GameCube 2.0. Well, I don't necessarily disagree with the concept that the Wii isn't the most powerful system on the market because it's not, but it is more powerful than the original GameCube. And as I said, the fact that it's backward compatible with the GameCube software is a real plus for me. Now, the 360, I'm not, I don't think I'm ever going to buy a 360, and I'll tell you why. The original Xbox that I bought from Electronics Boutique back when they were around, 
it has uh, certain problems. There are certain games that it does not like. And I don't mean certain copies of the game, I mean certain games. And I've gone online and verified that other people have had the same problem. There are certain games that you can try disc after disc after disc and, the, and it's going to say, I don't like that game. I can't read it. No matter how much polishing you do, do or resurfacing of the disc, whatever. There are games that I've had to go through two or three copies just to find one that the system will finally go, okay, I give up. I'll play that game. And the other problem the original Xbox had is the tray on the drive. It doesn't always open. Now, I thought that uh, at first that this was just a problem with mine. But again, I went online and found that this was a, a uh, problem inherent with the original Xbox. The solution? You bonk it on the top of the head, uh, just over the drive, as you hit open on the tray. And then it'll open. But the fact that the Xbox was real flaky made me gun shy to buy a 360. And then once uh, the 360 uh, got into more and more homes, and I saw more and more stories about the failure of the 360, the red ring of death, and so forth, and uh, seeing videos from people I subscribe to who have gone through three and even four. 360s because they keep dying. That doesn't instill confidence in me to buy a 360. And quite frankly, if they don't get this problem ironed out with this 360 so that it's as reliable as, say, a Wii, which from all reports is a very reliable system, then I don't know that I would buy an Xbox 720 or whatever. So, yes, I do eventually pl uh, plan to buy a PlayStation 3, um, but only if they put back in backward compatibility with the PlayStation 2 software, or I already have a PlayStation 2 by then, and then I can move on to the PlayStation 3. That's my take. Until next time, stay awesome.